Everyone knows it takes a village and the DeKalb County school system is taking that to heart to help prepare for the new school year. They're kicking things off with a back to school rally tomorrow morning. I sat down with the deputy superintendent of student intervention to talk about how they're using this event to support families before the first day. <laughs> To kick off the 2023 school year, DeKalb County is creating a one-stop shop to prep for going back to school. Their annual back-to-school rally connects the community to resources so students feel confident walking in on day one. You know, it takes a village to support families. As a parent and longtime educator, Deputy Superintendent Dr. Keisha Towns understands the struggle. She says that's why DeKalb has created school district villages to help parents feel supported and make sure students get what they need to be successful in school. One of those is a resource village. It provides information for parents with English language learners, students with disabilities, and information on transportation and nutrition. Their health and wellness village offers health screenings, including mental health with mindfulness activities and optional COVID vaccinations. And thanks to the village of support in the community, they also have giveaways including free school supplies, backpacks, and hygiene supplies. We take a look at the whole child. Um, we know that um, if a child's family isn't okay, that child may not be okay. So we're looking at a circle of care for the entire child. Helping as many of the 94,000 DeKalb County students as they can before the first day on August 7th. The importance of being prepared is to make sure our students are stress-free when they come to school. It's like doing the homework before you get to class. Like registering your child now instead of the first day. The district expects 6,500 parents to show up at the rally tomorrow. The free school supplies are first come, first served. If you'd like to go, it's from 9 to 1 at Halford Stadium in Clarkston.